तो एक्सपेरिमेंट नंबर टू वाटर जग प्रॉब्लम इन दिस प्रॉब्लम वी हैव गिवन विद द कैपेसिटी ऑफ जग वन एंड जग टू एंड वी हैव टू मेजर द कोल अमाउंट ऑफ वाटर यूजिंग एट रूल्स हियर आई एम टेकिंग यूजर इनपुट एट द कैपेसिटी ऑफ ऑब्जेक्ट वन फोर देन एंटर द कैपेसिटी ऑफ ऑब्जेक्ट टू थ्री and the amount of water to be measure is 2 so here i have taken three variable j1 j2 j1 holds the capacity of object jug1 and j2 holds the capacity of jug2 and the amount of to be water to be measure here is a method name applied rule i will get back this later then here x and y represents the current amount of water in a jug 1 and jug 2 respectively and i am initializing as a zero then while true this block will be executed here i am checking in every iteration if the amount of jug 1 is equal to the g that is goal amount if the amount of water is uh, in in jug 2 is equal to g and if any one of this uh, true then the goal will be achieved and loop will be break else this block will be executed here i am printing the eight rules and asking the user to enter the rule number to apply it and and uh, passing the three uh, this three parameters to this method apply rule first i first i just choice second as a amount of water in a jug 1 and by uh, that amount of water in jug 2 this is the method i am checking the choice number using if s if choice is equal to 1 then we have to apply the rule 1 which is jug 1 before applying the this rule we need to check if the empty space in jug 1 rule be less than capacity so if x is less than j1 then we return the x that is amount of water in jug 1 as a complete capacity of object and why as it is and else if this is not true then we will print cannot be applied and we returns the capacity of uh, amount of water in both jug as it is if the rule is uh, that uh, is choice to then we have to apply the rule 2 that is jug 2 and here is we uh, need to then we have we will return the x comma J two that is the entire capacity of object two, and if it is not possible, then we will print rule cannot be applied and return the amount of water in a jug as it is. If choice is equal to three, then transfer all the water from jug one to jug two. Then here jug one should be empty, and the addition addition of a uh, amount of water in a jug 1 and jug 2 should not be more than the capacity of object 2 so we have checking the that here and uh, returning 0 comma x plus y because after transferring all the water from jug 1 to jug 2 the amount of water in jug 1 will become 0 and the amount of water in jug 2 will be becomes x plus y and uh, if this is not true then cannot be applied uh, and we will return the state as it is same for the rule number 4 that is transfer all the water from jug 1 to jug 2 1 here jug 2 not should be empty and jug 1 plus jug 2 should not be more than the capacity of jug 1 here also we are transferring all the water from jug 2 then jug 1 to then jug 2 becomes 0 and jug 1 will becomes x plus y and if it is not possible then we will print rule cannot be applied and return the state as it is here in the rule 5 we have to transfer some water from jug 1 to jug 2 and until uh, jug 2 is full so here need to check jug 1 should not be empty and the amount of uh, water in jug 1 plus jug 2 should not be more than or equal to the capacity of object 2 so uh, we checking the condition or condition here and uh, we are applying the rules we are uh, returning cap the capacity of variance the amount of uh, 
क्वार्टर इन जग एंड जग वन एंड जग टू एंड इफ इट इज नॉट पॉसिबल देन वी विल सिंपली प्रिंट्स द रूल कैन नॉट बी अप्लाइड सेम फॉर द रूल सिक्स here in the rule 7 we have to check we have we have to empty, uh, empty jug 1 then here we have to check first the jug is uh, already empty or not that is the amount of jug is 1 is greater than 0 and if it is not then we, we are entering the returning a 0 comma y and if it is not possible it ca- it is cannot it is not true uh, then we will printing the rule cannot be uh, applied returning uh, We are checking if jug two is already empty or not, and if all these are not true, then else will be printed that is invalid choice. So it's time to execute the code now. So as you can see, eight rules are printed, and first applying a rule number two. That is the field jug two. So you can see a current state at zero comma three. That is jug two is completely filled and one is and jug one is empty. Now I am applying the rule number four. That is the that is transfer all the water from jug two to jug one. So you can see. Jug two is empty completely, and all the order from jug two is uh, filled to jug one. Now I am applying the rule number two again. That is filled 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 up the jug two, and sh- the state should be three. Uh, yes, three now. Now I am applying the rule number uh, six. Six now. Uh, that is the transfer some water from jug two to jug one until the jug uh, is jug is full. that is uh, uh, so uh, we yes you can see after transferring this amount of from jug 2 to jug 1 uh, until the jug 1 is full then the current state is 4 and 2 will is achieved as amount of water in jug 2 is which equal to the goal amount of water that is uh, that is the water that we have to measure here instead of asking the choice from user we can make we can make the use of random function to generate a choice for that i am importing a random module from the python import random and uh, let me c- comment this out on choice and will now becomes the random dot, dot random integer between the range 1 to 2 to 8 and so this will generates a random integer between 1 to 8 and assigns to this c choice let me execute this code again it makes more time than uh, the manual input